What's up guys? Welcome back to Unqualified Critics. The Arcade 1UP Projectorcade is here to, well, just very subtle fanfare. I don't even think there was a real announcement, but this is at QVC.com. I will put an affiliate link below, so if you're interested in this and you want to buy it, just know that by buying it, you're also supporting the channel. But let me give you guys my take on this, and I think I found the projector on Amazon. So let's look at the actual specs, because this listing doesn't tell us much. And if you guys have ever messed around with any kind of projector, you know they're not all created equal, not by a long shot. And at 400 bucks, I was guessing this was probably around a $100 MSRP projector. It turns out I was close, but it's a little less than that. But again, we'll come back to that in a minute. What you get for $400, well, you get a control panel for Pac-Man, you get several games, and let's look at that control panel. It's mounted into a basically shelf for the projector. This looks to me a lot like the control panel pedestal for the At Games uh, Legends Gamer, I think they call it, but that's the big two-player Legends control panel. You mount it on the, well, the mount or the stand, and then you connect it to an LCD TV in most cases, but here you're getting a shelf for a projector, and then you're actually getting the projector itself. Kind of a neat idea. I know a lot of people, I know myself when I was younger, but in general, just this idea of gaming on a projected big screen is exciting. It is cool. How many people wanted to go and play Halo at the movie theater or, you know, use the school's projector? Depending on what era you went to school in, uh, that was something I know a lot of people did. I feel like I did that once when I was younger. Like a friend snuck some stuff in. I've got real hazy memories about it. But this idea of gaming on a projector was like this mythic holy grail. So I can understand the concept behind it. It does seem pretty cool it also definitely is a better party favor than the giant joysticks guys let's just call a spade a spade in my opinion those giant joysticks were dead on arrival i know a lot of people humored them they look cool they're going to be decor great they're too expensive for just decor and you can't play video games with a giant joystick this on the other hand has conventional arcade controls as you can see in these photos so you can play video games on this so to me this makes a lot more sense now, when we look at photos, one of the things to question about these projectors is how far back from the wall do you have to be, and then how big of a picture does it make? There's such a thing as a short throw projector. You can be really close and get a big old huge screen. Not the case here. It looks like they're about eight feet from the wall, but then the image on the wall looks to me to be about four feet diagonal. All right, so... Like I mentioned, I wanted to find this actual projector because this isn't something Arcade One Up built themselves. Clearly, this would be something available on the market. And I think I found it. It's from a brand called Asius. Never heard of it. But it does have pretty high ratings on Amazon. It kind of looks like one of those Amazon standard products. It's, they clearly sell a ton of units on Amazon. The price as a consumer is 80 bucks. Now, obviously, Arcade One Up is going to pay less than that. It is not full high def it is 720p which is plenty for retro gaming but here's where it kind of falls apart number one number one it is a 6000 lumen projector lumens are expressions of how bright the projector is and it's one of the most important things along with resolution the brighter the projector the more clearly defined the image is and you can then play it not just necessarily in a pitch black room because that was always the complaint with projectors you gotta have all the lights off well at 6000 lumens this is definitely on the low end of brightness so it's one of those things where projectors you get what you pay for here's a 550 dollar home theater projector kind of a, a mid-tier this is not high end by any means but just to put things in perspective 36 100 lumens also 16 millisecond response time is advertised that's pretty good for a projector not great for a gaming tv or a gaming monitor but good for a projector and that gets me to my larger point these projectors actually are not good for gaming so if you were trying to game competitively we all know arcade one up cabinets are now recognized for twin galaxies high score submissions if you were into that kind of stuff the high score chasing you're not going to want this. This isn't going to be a, even a 16 millisecond response time uh, delay. It's going to be much larger than that. And in fact, I don't think it's advertised anywhere on here. So not ideal. Um, 3,000 to 1 contrast ratio, not very good. 
But, you know, I don't want to beat up on this. This is a small projector that for $80 has pretty good reviews. So for what you're getting, this is reasonable. The only reason I'm bringing this up is because you're not paying 80 bucks. You're paying 400 So you have to ask yourself if that $320 is worth it for the stand and the control panel. But you're also getting games. Let's not forget about that. So let's look at the games you get. 12 games including Pac-Man, Pac-Mania, Pac-Land, Rally X, Galaga, Gapless, Galaga 88, Dig Dug, Xevious, Rolling Thunder, Dragon Spirit, Mappy. They are combining four-way and eight-way games. Now that bothers me, but I know from experience it doesn't bother all of you guys, so your mileage may vary. If you set the joystick issue aside, I would say this is a pretty compelling games list. There's a nice bit of variety. They even throw in some kind of wild cards in here like Gapless, Mappy, Dragon Spirit. Pretty cool stuff. So I like to see it. I like to see the variety of games that aren't getting the wider releases. We know that the full product weighs 46 pounds and the projector itself is only under two and a half pounds. So this is probably going to be pretty solid wood construction. I did notice they've got this nice little adjustable lever here for the shelf so you can adjust the tilt. My point is there are nice design conventions here and a nice games list that might make this more than the sum of its parts. But at the end of the day, you're paying $400 for the wood shell for a control panel with mediocre controls, I presume, um, and also then the $80 projector. So I do feel this is a little overpriced. I think if this were $299, that would be more at kind of the top of what this should probably cost. However, if this is your jam and playing arcade games on a projector is just really exciting to you, and I wouldn't blame you if it was, then this might be worth picking up. Again, they've got those easy payments. And to some people, that's going to be a big help with the budget. So keep all that in mind. I just wanted to give you guys my two cents. We do know the projector. We know the projector specs. Um, so many people have bought this projector. Maybe even some of you guys have. It, they do advertise in the QVC listing that you can use this for television too. Really wouldn't recommend that. This projector for TV, maybe not going to get you there. But for retro gaming, it's not going to be bad. Just know that the blacks on the background aren't going to be true black. Um, also, if you're really going to project it for the best experience, you want to project it onto white. But, of course, this isn't for the hi-fi enthusiast. This is just, hey, we're going to throw this on the wall and get some friends around. And if that's what you're in for, then the only question is, is $400 worth that to you? And only you can answer that. So thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, hit the like button. It really does help a lot. And I'll talk to you soon. Big shout out to all of my channel members. If you want to join Unqualified Critics, hit the red button below that says join. And thank you for watching.